Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to connect my SQL database with your Visual C++ Windows Form application. Now we will develop our code further and we will try to make a login page so that you will be provided to text field and when you click a login button it will verify your username and password from the database and it will show you show the message that if your uh, username and password you have entered is correct or not so without wasting any time let's get started so first of all we will delete this text box which we have made last time we don't need it now okay and when you click this ok button which we have made last time double click it and because we have de deleted our text box we don't need this line also in while loop which we have uh, created in the last video so just delete this line also now go to your design once again and what I will do is I will change this the text of this button as login so I will go to the properties here in the property tab and I will search for the text so where is the text So here it is. Instead of OK, I will write log login. So I press enter, and you can see here in your button login is displayed. And now I will go to my toolbox in here, and I will grab two text boxes from here this text box number one and text box number two and I will also take two labels label one and label two and I will place it here so it will look nice and now I will click label 1 and change its text and name it as user name press enter and I will click label 2 and change its text in the properties as password okay and if you want you can change the text on the name of these labels for example I will name it as password so it's good practice to use this name field to name them so you don't get confused in names so this one and for username I will change the name as username lbl for label Enter same I will do for this username text box so I will name it first I will name it as in the name field I'm changing by the way user name underscore txt so I know it's a text box and in the text field 
Where is it? Yeah, here it is. So in the text field, I will write. No, I just want to leave it um, blank. So I left it blank. And the password field here, I will name this label as. So what I have done is I have taken two labels and named them as username and password and I have taken two text boxes and I have named them according to uh, accordingly sorry username for username text box and password for password name and what I want to do is when I click this login button it will verify that username and password which I have created in my my SQL database so I will show you my my SQL database here just open your my SQL database and in here I have created a database named database and I have created one table here in this table I have employee ID EID name surname age username and password and I have provided some data in them so in order to remember these username and password I provided them username and password numbers so username if the username is one password is also one if the username is two password is also two so it's it's easy to remember but you can give username and password according to your requirement it's just for the understanding so I have one two three four five six six columns with these names and this data so last time we have seen how to connect your database with this uh, C++ application and when you click this login button double click double click we have created this code in the last two videos when we have written the da the connection with mysql so if you don't know this code just go to your just go to previous two videos which i have made and you can see how I connected my database now in this line as my SQL command I have provided a query here you can see select star from database dot so this is my database name this is my table name now I want to verify whatever text I enter in these two text boxes it the MySQL database takes that text and verify the text whether it's entered correctly or not and verify the username and password and give me a uh, feedback if it's correct or not so last time I have written this query I will change it a little so I have written select star from database dot e data which is this database and this e data table and now I will write select star from and I will write further where I will 
see my username this is my username and password so username and password so I will use these two things here where username is equal to what username is so write two quotes double quote in between them write two single quotes and in between them write two double plus and in between two double plus signs we will write so what we will write we will click this username text box and go to the properties and copy the name of 